We've been following 3i Atlas for months, barely noticing any updates on this strange interstellar object. But in parallel with that attention, a series of other developments have quietly emerged, largely unreported by the media. A few months ago, the Pentagon unexpectedly released a series of videos taken by various reconnaissance platforms across Europe. They did not reveal specific locations, leaving only speculation that the footage may be related to the war in Ukraine or completely unrelated to the context. The amount of information was so scant that many experts believe it may have been a deliberate strategy to avoid revealing too much. The videos depict unidentified flying objects, UAPs, captured by thermal cameras. AARO, the U.S. Department of Defense agency that analyzes anomalies, claims to have determined that some of the objects were just normal phenomena. However, there are still a few targets that the agency has not been able to classify. And as you watch these videos, the reason becomes clear. Their motion, heat signatures, and shapes raise questions that science has yet to explain. Perhaps the answers lie somewhere in the unclassified data, or perhaps we're witnessing something far beyond what's allowed to be released. Okay, first of all, if you thought I was going to save the 3i Atlas footage for the end of the video, you're wrong. The 3i Atlas footage is the first thing I want you to watch. However, I still encourage you to go ahead and watch the Pentagon UAP footage because it's fascinating. And unlike the controversial 3i Atlas footage, the Pentagon itself has admitted that the objects in the UAP footage are unidentified, despite extensive analysis. No one disputes this, and that's what makes them so mysterious. Now back to one of the latest, and in my opinion, most striking images of 3i Atlas. It's strange, a little spooky, and the sense of mystery only increases as you zoom in. The first thing you notice is the squiggly tail behind it. Many astronomers call it a tail, but honestly, it's nothing like any comet tail I've seen in decades. Instead, it looks almost like an unusually long gas tendril, with three distinct streams of smoke-like material erupting from the object. It's still aligned with the comet's tail axis, which is constantly being blown back by the solar wind. But what's more striking is the reverse tail, which we've been talking about all along when talking about 3i Atlas. At normal brightness, this reverse tail is invisible, but when you adjust the viewing angle, the structure becomes incredibly sharp. When all the streams are visible, the overall shape of the object becomes strangely incomprehensible. I even juxtaposed a typical comet image to illustrate the stark difference. This almost absolute contrast shows how unique 3i Atlas is. Natural or not, I have never seen a comet with this shape. There may be some comets that are a little similar, but overall, the characteristics of 3i Atlas are truly extraordinary. And that is not all. The color of this object is constantly changing in an unusual way. It is currently glowing green, but just a week ago it was blue. These changes make one wonder if this is just a normal photochemical phenomenon, or if there is some other mechanism that we have not observed in interstellar comets before. The image, taken by Mitsunori Sumura with a half-meter telescope, an impressive size for amateur equipment, reveals the unusual resolution of the anti-tail structure of the 3i Atlas object. The scale is unusual even in its description. The image was taken when the object was about 300 million kilometers from Earth with a tail affected by the solar wind extending to 5 million kilometers, and the anti-tail facing the sun extending for another million kilometers. Those cold numbers are enough to illustrate the strange nature of this celestial body. There is also another large object in the frame, a detail that often leaves viewers wondering what it is. Coincidentally, this is not dust or random debris, but NGC 4454, a barred spiral galaxy located 123 million light years from Earth. Despite its staggering distance, this galaxy was discovered by William Herschel in 1784. Its presence in the same field of view as 3i Atlas creates the illusion of overlapping layers of space, a vivid visual illustration of the depths of the universe. Another image taken by Peter Carson Lee with a 315 millimeter telescope in Spain further supports the idea that 3i Atlas is fading in brightness as it moves away from the sun. Yet Earth is getting closer. Our orbits and 3i Atlas will intersect in the second half of December with closest approach on the 19th of December at a distance of 1.8 astronomical units or 270 million kilometers. 
While that distance is still huge, the fact that such high-resolution images were taken from much further away suggests that future observations could be even more interesting as the distance continues to shrink. Among the recent series of images, one stands out for a very obvious reason. It does not resemble any comet on record. It does not even resemble a long-tailed comet, a short-tailed comet, or any other classical comet type. The description alone suggests that the structure in the image is so irregular that it stands outside any familiar patterns in contemporary astronomy. Its strangeness has become a source of curiosity, not only for amateur observers, but also for the scientific community. This image, taken by Paul Craggs on November 21st, using a time exposure technique, shows an unusual sight. The stars appear as sharp points of light, while the 3 eye atlas itself shows signs of rapid movement, leaving behind an elusive shape. It is possible that the photographer adjusted the exposure speed to compensate for the relative motion, creating a more steady frame for the 3 eye atlas. If true, the images accurately reflect the object's state at the time. But it's also possible that the technique itself created a visual effect that made its already strange structure seem even more bizarre. Whatever the cause, the series of images breaks the familiar stereotype of comets, raising more questions than answers. And that's the appeal of 3 Eye Atlas. None of its images look like a comet in the conventional sense. No classic tail, no fixed structure, just an elusive blur, sometimes accompanied by a reverse tail that seems to defy the direction of the solar wind. We're looking at a unique object, one whose form becomes more mysterious the closer we look. That's just the beginning. I still have a lot of new data to share, including a daring project. A team of volunteers I lead is combing through images from the surface of Mars, including data from the Perseverance and Curiosity rovers. The goal is to find any clues that 3i Atlas may have launched mini probes during its close approach to Mars. These devices, if they really exist, could have plunged into the atmosphere, recorded signals from orbit, and even glanced at human instruments operating on the surface of Mars. And before you think that's too far-fetched, I should stress, the team has discovered at least one image that is truly remarkable. It's not conclusive, but it's strange enough to give the team pause for thought. That clue will be analyzed after all the data has been verified and compared. All of this analysis comes at a time when the United States is increasingly keeping a tight lid on unexplained phenomena in interplanetary space. Many believe that the U.S. government is closely monitoring 3 I Atlas and may have information far beyond what's been made public. Data from NASA, JPL, or the Department of Defense is sometimes released late or lacking in detail, raising the suspicion that they are tracking a larger plot, one they are not yet ready to share with the rest of the world. But leaving aside the 3 I Atlas, let's move on to the document that is getting a lot of attention, the UAP footage released by the Pentagon. This is one of those videos that the Department of Defense itself admits it cannot explain, a rare occurrence and often the beginning of a much more interesting story. The first video mentioned is quite long, so I can only describe the main content. This is a report submitted by the U.S. European Command to ARO, noting an unidentified phenomenon in nearly eight minutes of infrared video, captured from a military platform in 2022. ARO's official conclusion is that the object in the video is highly likely, with a confidence level of over 95%, to be a balloon. This is based on shape similarities with high-resolution data of similar objects and motion characteristics consistent with a lighter-than-air object. But the key is the object's behavior. The report shows it slowing down, gradually changing direction, and eventually reversing its direction of motion. A plausible explanation could be that the object entered the upper level airstream, where extremely unstable air currents can distort the motion of light objects. However, the sequence of motion still raises many questions. The object appears to float for a moment and then be swept away in the opposite direction. What's even more strange is that it shows up on infrared sensors, while the balloons themselves don't emit heat. Is this a reflection of heat or are military sensors operating on a mechanism that's not fully accessible to the public? The answer remains elusive even to those in the industry. While Aero deemed the object safe, it's clear that the initial report from European Command wasn't sent out simply because they'd caught a strange spot in the air. The unusual movements, decelerating, reversing, 
then suddenly accelerating, were enough for them to judge this as something that warranted further investigation, not just a passing observation. And again, that's what makes the story so compelling. The U.S. military claims it can explain the phenomenon, but it leaves a gap in information that the public can't access. In the world of UAPS, sometimes that gap is what adds weight to the mystery. In this case, though, I'd lean toward Arrow's assessment, in part because they later received another report, also from European Command, of an object with even more bizarre movements. Just by hearing the description, you can see why the incident left analysts hesitant. Some of the oscillations were due to the motion of the recording system, but what was described in the report was still truly astonishing. The object, as described, changed velocity abruptly, moving up and down, back and forth, accelerating and decelerating in a series of behaviors that would be difficult to attribute to a light object like a balloon. This was exactly the kind of phenomenon that European Command had observed, an erratic, constantly changing direction as if defying normal inertial logic. Aro attributed it all to the changing winds that day. But even with that explanation, a lingering sense of doubt remained. The technical descriptions showed that the object not only changed direction, but did so in a repeating cycle, accelerating briefly and then slowing down before accelerating again. I believe Aro understands meteorological data better than anyone but it's hard to shake the feeling that this pattern of motion is incomplete when viewed simply as the behavior of a balloon. So while the footage is classified as likely a balloon, it's still intriguing. It raises the question of whether there's something missing or whether it's simply a fortuitous combination of atmospheric conditions and camera angle that makes things seem more mysterious than they really are. I'll come back to this later because now we're getting to the crux of the matter, a case where Arrow couldn't identify it, and that's where things really get interesting. Here's another report from European Command in 2022 with a 1 minute and 21 second clip captured by an infrared sensor on a U.S. military platform. The system detected a very distinct heat signature that was clear enough to suggest that it was a real object, not just random noise, but Arrow couldn't determine what it was. They couldn't tell whether the heat was coming from the object itself, from reflection, or simply from a temperature difference. Even the possibility of sensor error was considered, but the data were too limited to make any definitive judgment. That lack of data made the case more intriguing, rather than less so. The most puzzling aspect of the object is that it did not drift with the wind. For a lighter-than-air object, especially a balloon, its trajectory would quickly be dictated by atmospheric currents. If it were a balloon, Uro would have immediately concluded. Instead, the object maintained its own course and velocity, something a passive object would not do. This anomaly makes the report even more difficult to explain. Although the object appeared very far away, resulting in low resolution images, the Pentagon's decision to release the footage to the public is still remarkable. For a country known for its reticence to share UAP data, releasing what it admits is unidentifiable footage only raises the question, if this is what they are willing to release, what else is left unreleased? According to Aro, the other footage only shows high-altitude balloons drifting with the wind. There is one notable exception, however. Footage from Hungary in June 2020. At first glance, the object's heat signature looks quite similar to the previous case, but the speed of its movement is much higher. Initially, it appears as a cylinder, an appearance that can be affected by the light trail effect of the camera panning quickly. But when analyzed closely, it becomes clear that the camera has resolved correctly, and the object is indeed a cylinder gliding through the clouds. It's a truly astonishing sight. Whatever the technology, the object is moving at an extremely high speed. If it is a missile, it must be hypersonic. But the biggest question is, why was a hypersonic missile appearing in the skies over Hungary in 2020? There was no warning from NATO, no defensive response, no information about any military activity. And the theory that it was a stray device from the Ukraine conflict is also difficult to hold, as it is almost impossible for a weapon to stray hundreds of kilometers into NATO airspace without any reaction. The final question remains, and it is not easy to answer. Is this some form of undisclosed military technology, an object from an unknown country, or a phenomenon that is beyond the current human technological paradigm? The gaps and contradictions in the data make it impossible to simply ignore. We get answers from the Pentagon, 
But at the same time, more and more questions arise. And it is these questions that make UAP phenomena so fascinating, where the unknowns still far outweigh the knowns. The, while 3 i Atlas is dominating the headlines and attracting the attention of those fascinated by the possibility of alien intelligence, there is a much bigger picture at play. Around the world, reports of UAPS continue to rise, not just from civilians, but also from pilots, radar systems, and defense surveillance networks. And importantly, this increased frequency coincides with strategic moves by major powers in the space competition. While the public is focused on 3 i Atlas, Many researchers believe that major powers such as the United States, China, Russia, and even the European Union are exploiting the ambiguity surrounding UAPS to test technologies they cannot publicly disclose. Unidentified objects appearing near military facilities, strategic flight corridors, or high-tech weapons testing areas are leading many experts to question whether a new kind of space race is underway. Furthermore, there is a new wave of interest in the international astronomy community as archival images from the last century, including those from the Palomar Observatory, show the appearance of unexplained objects from decades ago. Some independent analyses suggest that these signals may coincide with important geopolitical periods from the Cold War to the nuclear arms race. If so, this could be a clue that UAPS are not only related to space science, but also deeply tied to the history of military and political confrontation between nations. In this context, 3i Atlas has become the focus of a new conspiracy theory. Are major nations closely monitoring this object not only because of its astronomical characteristics, but also because they believe it may contain strategic information or even a technological advantage? Some unofficial sources suggest that NASA and the U.S. Department of Defense may be deliberately withholding data, not for lack of information, but because what they observe could have major implications for politics and industries related to defense, space exploration, and the space economy. For now, the pieces of the puzzle aren't quite fitting together. But as more nations invest heavily in their space programs, accelerate hypersonic missile testing, and deploy new military satellites, the puzzle is becoming ever more complex. And while many view 3i Atlas as an astronomical mystery, more knowledgeable observers see it as part of a larger picture of the struggle for control of the future beyond Earth. In that way, 3i Atlas is more than just a strange object in the sky. It has become a focal point for the intersection of science, military, economics, and politics, a symbol of the space competition that is quietly shaping the 21st century. Everything we are witnessing from Atlas 3i to the surge in UAPs around the globe suggests that the skies above us are far more complex than we once knew. Whether they are signs of extraterrestrial activity, the product of top secret military programs, or part of a technological race between superpowers, the truth is hidden behind layers of information. And it is clear that what is happening in space is not just a matter of science, but also deeply relevant to the strategy, security, economics, and power of the entire world. We are at a moment when every new image, every new report, and every unusual signal could change the way humanity understands the universe and itself. The most important thing right now is to keep observing, keep asking questions, and don't accept simple answers to complex phenomena. If you want to stay up to date with the latest analysis, surprising discoveries, and emerging mysteries related to the 3i Atlas and UAP phenomena, subscribe now. There are many interesting and potentially shocking things waiting for you.